hello break dancers welcome back to the channel today we are going to take a look at how to create this infinite scroll carousel so we're going to be taking a look at uh, how to do the product carousel and the post carousel uh, which basically is the same thing except that they query different post types uh, but the first thing i'm going to show you is how to do that with the advanced slider because the product carousel and the post carousel both utilizes the advanced slider uh, for the carousel for the inbuilt carousel so uh, we're going to take a look at that uh, this is going to be a sort of a comprehensive tutorial on the advanced slider the reason i'm going to cover everything uh, the advanced slider the post list and the product list is because sometimes you might just want to use static elements for your slider and you also need to know how to set that up and the good thing is that they are basically the same thing the settings are similar so once i show you one you're going to be able to do the other now let's jump into it the first thing i'm going to do is to add a section uh actually let me add the advanced slider in breakdance once you add an element a section is automatically added before that element is dropped in okay so you see the structure panel is empty so i'm gonna uh, click on advanced slider now the advanced you can see a section is added so you can skip a step just go ahead directly and add the element you want to add and then a section is going to be added i have uh, my slider here i have one two uh, three so the third one so what i want to do is to create an infinite slider something that slides infinitely uh, so to do that I'm going to first of all go into the you know, the style panel and the slider settings. I'm going to go to settings and the effect, I'm going to change it to slide. Actually, slide is the default, but I just want to ensure that it is slide. Now, the speed, uh, to make it slide, I'm going to give it a higher speed. Now, the typical speed is around 400, but uh, the higher the speed, the slower it's going to move, okay? So, let's say uh, we leave it the way it is and just go to infinite enable and then we go to autoplay enable i want to enable autoplay under autoplay settings uh the speed for the autoplay uh, i want it to be zero the speed for the autoplay represents how long it's gonna wait between each you know slide okay so once it slides uh, how long is it gonna wait so if you have like 100 milliseconds it's gonna wait for 100 millisecond if you have a thousand millisecond, it's gonna wait for one second because a thousand millisecond is one second. Because we're doing infinite slide, I want it to continually roll, scroll through like a marquee. I'm gonna put that speed at zero. Okay, so I'm not gonna do stop and interaction. I'm not gonna do pause and hover. Uh, then the next thing I'm gonna to go to advance. So the slide per view. Uh, so we have three slides here. I'm just gonna do four and then I'm gonna duplicate. I want to have up to four. Uh, yep. So I'm gonna just duplicate one of these to make up make it up to four. all right now okay i think what i will do is i'm just going to delete all this because uh these are just placeholders okay and i do not want to uh you know use this big text so i'm just going to take this text and bring it all the way down uh one size just bring that down so let's duplicate that one two okay four so you see we have the font size is small enough so we can do our four slides uh, per view okay so I, I can just make that up to five slides but the setting says four i'm going to go back to that settings to advance so i set it to four and on the mobile breakpoints i want it to be um i want it to be one view at uh, maybe a phone tablet phone portrait but this i can change the the phone landscape i can just make it maybe two slides okay let's take that back to the desktop but i'm going to save that and then we're going to take a look at the front end so you can see that it slides but it doesn't delay between the slides so it, it goes on immediately so the next thing we're going to do to continue that is to uh to set this to 5000 now 5000 is going to slow it down that speed is going to slow it down uh so it, the the speed the the higher the number of the speed the slower it is because you're saying let it take up to 5000 milliseconds you're saying let it take up to 5 seconds for this thing to move before it, it gets to the end so it is it's take it's taking longer okay now we have that uh so all our setting is complete we have that so this should give us our uh, infinite scroll but unfortunately uh it is not giving us that infinite scroll because of the animation timing function it eases in now we want it to be linear and there is no settings to change that animation timing function here 
So while you're selecting the slider, you're going to go to advanced, uh, you're going to go to the custom CSS, and then I'm going to write uh, selector means, uh, I'm going to go selector. Selector means the current element that you are on. And then we're going to target a swiper class called swiper wrapper dash wrapper and the transition dash timing function we're going to set that to linear okay and that is going to take care of the timing function and when we check again on the front end we should have a smooth uh linear transition so you can now see that everything you know moves now when you have this kind of setup typically you don't want to have the button so i'm going to go back in i'm going to go back to the styling the arrows i'm going to disable it you don't want to have the arrows you don't want to have the button it doesn't really make any sense to have it because it's infinite scroll and the pagination type i'm going to set it to none then i'm going to save that and i'm going to refresh here and we have our infinite scroll so that is how you set up an infinite scroll using the advanced slider in breakdance now let's take a look at how to do that to a post okay so i'm just gonna uh close this up and i want to add a section before adding the next element so i'm gonna add the post list okay so post list i have a couple of posts it's gonna pull in about uh yep a couple of my i have like four posts here okay so uh to set up the infinite slider for the post list what you're gonna do is to go to the style panel and then on the list you're gonna go to layout and choose slider once you choose slider you're gonna be presented with the same settings as the advanced slider and it uses the same swiper slider so we're gonna go here under settings i'm gonna set the effects to slide just like we did before the speed to 5000 milliseconds and the infinite we're gonna set it to front end only and then the autoplay we're gonna set it to front end only autoplay setting we're gonna set the speed to zero and then now if you want to stop an interaction or pause and hover fine but i uh, prefer not to do that and then for here a uh, slides per view uh is gonna be four and of course you can do other you could set up other settings you need your you know space between slides you can set that up i'm gonna go down here to phone um phone landscape and set the number of slides to two and then i want it to be one at phone portrait so a phone portrait we want it to be just one slide okay so that's phone portrait just one slide okay let's go back there so we're gonna go to the arrow okay and then disable it and then i'm gonna go to pagination and then i'm gonna say none and we have that so if i save this and then go to the front end you're gonna see we're gonna have the same issue we had before where this slides and slows down because of the timing function the trans uh, the, you know the animation timing function so we're going to do the same thing so i'm going to go back here and select that slider and then i want to copy that css that transition timing function i want to copy it to the post list i'm going to paste it and let's see if it's going to work now i will just press f5 and let's see if it's going to work and it appears to work so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to uh, add another section. We want to do the products. Okay. So if you want to do it for the product, I'm just going to go type list again, and then I'm going to choose my product list. Okay. Drop it right below that. I want to put it in another section. So let me just move my product list. So I have my product here. Um, so for my product list, I'm going to do the same thing. Go to the style panel, go to layout. I'm going to choose slider and then the slider settings. I'm going to familiar. Okay. So the effect is going to be slide. The speed is going to be 5000 milliseconds and infinite is going to be front end only autoplay front end only autoplay settings speed zero then i'm going to come here uh, to the advanced here and set the slide per view one at portrait and then uh just here i want it to be two just like the other ones okay and then let's go back to the desktop so let's go here to the arrows and then i'm going to disable the arrow and I'm gonna turn uh turn that off the pagination off and if we go to the front end let's see all right so we have the same uh thing the same thing going on where it moves and slows down so let's try copying that code from here okay i'm gonna copy that code from here and i'm going to paste it here 
Now we're gonna refresh. Notice the default uh, static slider is you know it's working as intended. This one is working as inten intended, uh, but this still doesn't work as intended, even though we have pasted the code. So for this one, for the product uh, carousel, uh, this code doesn't work. So we have to modify this code because the product carousel does not have a container with this class. The swiper wrapper doesn't have this class. Instead, it has an ID that contains this name, okay? Uh, but then let me just go and show you what I mean. So I'm gonna just uh, bring up my dev tool, okay? And then I'm gonna show you here. So this is supposed to be a swiper wrapper, but it doesn't have a class of swiper wrapper. It has an ID of swiper wrapper with some strings. And because these strings change uh, with each swiper wrapper, they are not the same. So uh, we have to find a way of, you know, targeting an ID that contains the word swiper wrapper and ignore the rest of them because you don't want to be, you know, copying all the strings every time you have a new uh, product carousel, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, write this like this. So I'm going to take that off and then I'm going to put this in, you know, a square bracket, okay? And then inside there, just before you have the swiper wrapper, I'm going to write ID and then I'm going to write asterisk equal. Then I'm going to put this swiper wrapper in a double quotation mark. Okay. I'm going to just put a double quotation mark there. So what we are saying is select any element whose ID contains the word swiper wrapper. So it doesn't matter if it contains any other words or any other strings of characters. As long as it contains the word swiper wrapper, then we're good. So for that product list, this is what you're going to use. I'm going to save this and then we're going to preview the front end and see if this will work properly. So I'm going to just hit refresh. And you see it works perfectly. So all of them are working as they should. All right. This is where you hit the like button. Go ahead and hit it because I know you love this. And if you love this tutorial, you're going to love all the tutorials I've done on Breakdance. Uh, check them out. I'm going to list them in the cards at the end of the video and at the top right corner of the screen. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with others. Until next time, have a great day. Bye.